What's going on, friends? This is Legacy Storm playing Pokemon Shield. I am starting a new run. I've already done my Pokemon Sword playthrough, as it's on YouTube, which I still have to do the other DLC for. But uh, let's go with Pokemon Shield. Now. Wait, think I'm gonna play as a guy? I think I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do I want to do here? I've used Asa, I've used Sakura. What's the third name on my list? Let's go with Jenna. Daughter for my reoccurring dream. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Our beloved Jalar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks for the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even within our own towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! <laughs> Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you today. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax! That's your flash new phone, Jenna? Are you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Huh? I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Is today the big day? Yeah, that's why I came, uh, that's exactly why I came running over to get Jenna. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Jenna. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Say, Jenna, didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? Well, I saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. You 
grab your mom's old bag. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going in the forest for the two of you. <laughs> Have a look at you, Jenna. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a snow axe. A Lulu? Well, what's it doing there? Silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence, no. Everyone knows these are scary Pokemon living in the slippery wheel. <laughs> now that that's taken care of, how about it, Jenna? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. Uh, what was you looking at about that big old bag? Learn some patience. He's probably just arrived. Uh, he's, he's probably only just arrived at the station in Winterest. and that's where I'm going. You know, Lee is helpless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? This is probably for the best. You gotta come with, Jenna. You, you still never met my big bro, right? I need to stop yawning. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you once on the. Or I'll wait for you out, out on the route. Pokemon can come out of the nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my wheelie with me, so I'm ready for battles against the wild Pokemon, of course. Not you, Jenna, so we'll steer, steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Hurst, your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our undefeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. 
Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working uh, on, our, on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong. <laughs> but the other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in the world. Arr. Hey! Up! So, my number one fan in all the world has come all out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Jenna, am I right? I've heard about, I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Jenna. Bet I can beat you both back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of, of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Jenna and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Dress up Pokemon Grookey. The fire Pokemon type Score Bunny. And the water top Pokemon Subble! Mostly chosen score bunny, but for this playthrough, go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. For this one, I believe I will go with Sobble. That's the water type Sobble. It adapts to anything and surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble? Yes. You chose Sobble. Yeah, I'll name it uh, Sobby. Sobble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along this Pokemon for you and Jenna. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Grinky. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but uh, real strong and real kind, too. Alright, enough of, the, of all this trainer nonsense for one night. 
Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's and let's all eat. Yeah. Damn, Hop. Spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Jenna's made fast friends with her Sobble, too. Now listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side enough, then someday you might have become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What you're looking at for her, Lee? Er, what are you looking at it for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Jenna might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to, I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my only chance to beat the unbeatable champion. I can't read at all. <laughs> Clearly. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing willing, uh, and ready to take Hop on your first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Hell yes. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battle with them. Like everyone's on board and Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Go, Sabi! Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Trust the ally of my team. Water gun. Super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Fuck yeah, I did. I have been a Pokemon trainer since the good days of Kanto. Defeating Trainer Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and Sabo are too much. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee. Uh, me and my matching baby. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join the whole fun. <laughs> Why is it? Slow down, Leon. Good effort out there, Sable. Why don't why don't I get you all sorted? Thank you. And Jenna, you got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rebel to hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on, we, you got a lot of stick on the Pokemon gems. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother? Uh, I'm not too keen on the lingo here. 
that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Jenna. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting the Pokedex. The trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then, we're on. Looks like we're off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you, me, for you and me, Jenna. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing the simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'll probably go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. What the hell? Jenna, did you hear that just now? The gate's open and that Wulu was that was there. He was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits, nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back and she just wasn't the same. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Jenna, what do you say? We've got to save it, right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Jenna. Let's go! is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that portal one soon, this might be trouble. Pokemon try out, you think?
I think I get now why this place is off limits. What in the? Jenna! What, well, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'm waiting ages for you two, and you two never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the woo-woo? We were trying to rescue that woo-woo. Meh. <laughs> little chap's just fine. So all of you have fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here and all the same. I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? At least we lose all right. Yeah, Jenna? Thought we, thought we had it when that weird barge started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, huh? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. The moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon that say live in the slumber and wheel, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough that maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. I mean, my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than we just did. Oh, mother. Oh, well, now, isn't Sabo just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off the Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here you are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sabo will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing that poor deer too hard. Well? And you, Sabo, look after my little Jenna. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. We'll do, mother.
Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Score Bunny a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. Just get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great big red, the, the great red and white ball mark out in front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Smack dab into a rookie. I still don't have any Pokeballs. I do I? I do! Pound! Hell yeah! Pokemon Center, and you're blocking the freaking Pokemon Center. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, when we go. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. That'll work. Today, Leon, looking into another, or looking for info on another never before seen Super Sonic Pokemon. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost in the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals in our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you, helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. <laughs> this is Jenna. She's a new Pokemon trainer. She's on the on the set her on the right path, would you? <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Hey there. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. T tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you are that you can use the Pokedex of your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my grand. 
Did you let Gran know that you received that poker darts? She lives in a house down alone for out two. I sure can. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to the new trainers and giving them useful stuff. A potion! It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, hit, uh, aka their hit points, gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power! <laughs> it's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Pokedex from Sonya, and it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can lead the team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another Pokemon trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. But if you're yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Jenna. Bet you've never been inside one. I bet you might have. Level with me, Jenna. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think I need to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading the route too, Jenna. Come find me, maybe maybe when you're done here. Yes, please rest my Pokemon. I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. The trick is that you got to be indoors if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm, I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I, I ought to talk to the professor and see if she can help. You gotta take part too. A proper arrival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down the end of the route too, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Jenna, it's time we filled out in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only look at you, little Jenna. You've already caught some on your own. Your mom gave me gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Pokemon, the Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Amazing. And of course, they get experience for points from battle, so take on other trainers that you meet along the way to help your Pokemon strive. Your team will keep on challenging and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even the, even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, all right? All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees.
common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Youngster Jake. Let's go, it. Bind! Nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a way to go. One more tip squeak. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you.
time. Oh, there's a professor. Goodness, no, the whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Jenna. I trust you received the poetry decks from Sonia. I'm sure that you'll have it completed in no time. That's the plan. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Jenna? Professor Magnolia has been doing research in the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax in the fullest. Again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know, like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? How many convince Lee he should endorse this for the gym challenge? Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Papa Jenna only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Theory, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That's that's goal precisely the reason. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. I wasted a potion. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Jenna. Hurry up, Jenna. You gotta battle me so I can get my get myself that endorsement. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you got so we can prove the lead with it, with it takes. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young battles, uh, trainers battle too. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to, to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin.
Water gun. Oh, look at you, as soon as you really learned your type matchups. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Power trip. Nothing less for my rival. You are damn right. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going, going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Jenna, ha, huh. well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got little choice but to give me both of them yours from this champion. Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to, to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you really have grown a little bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Jenna. Alright, Jenna. You and me are going to train up against one another. Aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh, what's that? Yeah, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna have. They're gonna be massive. Yes. Trust you to pull something like this. They they say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart. You know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true, right? Don't be silly, hot. Those wishing stars are, comparative, are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Polar region. But they won't do anything for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have, I'll have you sorted. All right, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? And please, give, give Jenny and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we got, a, we, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon on the Sunburn Wheel, but now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest tri uh, trendy curies. 
Curries. Curries. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long first episode. Just wanna get all the tutorial stuff out of the way. It's morning at last, and our time and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Or, well, it was a, there was weird heavy fog and then this weirder Pokemon appeared. Jenna tried to fight it off, but the, then I think we both passed out or, or something. It was all, it's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Jenna Hop, these are for you. Dynamax band. Those are Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on the gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll help fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Janelle, I'll get you to the station. Last thing before the race, Jenna. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know, sometimes you see, uh, see Pokemon wandering around in tall grass, yeah? If you move slow, like the, the slow, like you crouch down. These Pokemon won't pay you when you notice. And on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll sure to, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If they're a bit rubbish, if you're, if you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this: need a fail-proof trick. Press the left stick. Try it out, see if you can catch some of those Pokemon. You know, what's your station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That's, that'll be the goal, see you there! Come on, Jenna, you'll never beat me to the station at that pace. I know where it's at. First, it's shopping time. Where are we at?
auto shop right now. So out with it, Jenna. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. You got not one? What are you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're if you're a trainer. I know. That's a technical machine. You can't, mate. But a team like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one, uh, the one can teach the new Swift. You gave, me, you gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin the motor stuff. And our train's waiting. Let's go. Not so, not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Store Bunny as partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift uh, to see you well set on your way. All the kit, uh, all the kit you'll need for camping. Thanks, Mom. And just to think how lucky you are, mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the next champion. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do, you, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. It's just luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement running ahead of me even faster than that train could go, Jenna. Come on, we're off. Well, this look is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight there. All sorts of wild Pokemon, but you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this a wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, uh, this is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Lulu on the tracks. I'm well, sorry to be sorry about this, it's brilliant. This, this wild area is massive, there are loads of Pokemon in the battle here. You don't get it, do you? Don't you, Jen? You get it, don't you, Jenna? This is the best possible place to put out together for, uh, the greatest team. Stoked, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, is, and if it isn't Sonia. My granny gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, ne never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious that uh, Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking that I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grain will admit I've got some talent. Yeah, it's meaning that John has its own challenges, eh? 
I said you needn't worry about it. Gl I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill another page with my tale of the legend. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too. If you want to take on an opponent that strong. You will find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon looking inside. So, with that, how about I send you off a little treat off for me? A Pokemon box lane. Hell yeah. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take po Pokemon from your boxes to add them on your team. Nice, right? So go catch, uh, uh, so go wild catching as many Pokemon as you, as you like and fill in some more in your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Let's do it. Here. And that's going to do it for me for now. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back for more. Stay tuned, Storm Nation. Until next time, I shall return to the shadows and be back for the next video. I'm Legacy Storm signing off. Goodbye, everybody.